And I uh, hear we are live from the sound shop. Finally, we had a few technical difficulties, but this is the Motor City Music Society episode one with those hell. Hey, once again, this is Motor City Music Society. My name is Aaron. And my name is Tammy Lynn. And this is the very first episode, and we're so happy to finally be live. We had some uh, technical difficulties in the beginning there. Uh, you know, Facebook Live doesn't always work the way you want it to. So we are on YouTube Live instead, but I think that's okay for now. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. Uh, we have those hounds in studio. Say hi if you'd like to, guys. Hello. Hello. We, all three of you, we have Ivan, Charlie, and Kevin. They are a three-piece uh, snot rock band, if you will. <laughs> so we had a pre-interview with you guys, and I kind of wanted to like creep on you for a minute because <laughs> you use the term snot rock, and I want to know more about that word. Uh, Charlie, you're the one that came up with that. How would you describe snot rock, Charlie? Uh, pissed off, but we look good. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, just snotty, kind of just aggressive, out, not outwardly aggressive, but like kind of just pissed off lyrics and okay, just overall moodiness. Just kind okay, of gives you like a snotty feel out of it. So uh, yes, because because mm-hmm. I saw, I, I think it was, um, I have to find it in my notes here because we apparently sound snarky with hints of disdain for everything. <laughs> yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. I like it. I like it. Uh, when I get moody, I cry. So that's where the <laughs> snot factor would come in for me. So perfect. <laughs> snot rock. Love it. Yeah, it's rock. perfect. And so uh, you guys, I mean, it's the first episode and we're really super pumped to have you. And the sound shop crew has worked really hard to put this on. And even though we started like literally 45 minutes late, we're super excited. And uh, we have everybody right here in studio and it's live and it's video. And we want to know about what's coming up for you guys and we know that you have an upcoming album and you're going to play music tonight from your upcoming album and tell us a little bit about matrimony the ep well we've been working on that ep for a little over a year now Mm -hmm. Um, we started recording it here at the sound shop and we're finally ready to release it Um, our release show is going to be january 27th at smalls and hamtramck Um, we're playing with uh, bogart um, iron downey jr and our buddies red robe from ann arbor oh that's awesome nice that's fantastic. Do you guys play uh, Smalls a lot at all? Um, we just played it for the first time in this band uh, recently over Black Friday. Um, oh. But we haven't. We love that place. We've mm-hmm. been to a million shows there, but our first time was just uh, this past fall. I've I've actually never been ever, so <laughs> I was just curious. No, it's a really cool place. It's got a lot of vibe to it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Very good. Nice. Um, another thing I wanted to, that makes you guys super, I think this kind of goes along with the snot rock maybe, because it's a little snarky. It's a little bit hipster. Excuse me for calling you hipster, but I kind of think you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys sell cassettes. We do. At your shows. <laughs> and it really, really intrigues me because it's something that um, I've been personally uh, thinking about doing in my own band, Elsie Binks, and doing like... Uh, um, um, vinyl because my brain works vinyl and I was just curious like how does that work for you guys like do people buy them oh yeah we we sell a lot of cassettes actually um, probably more than the CDs do yeah people like for real yeah yeah people drive crappy cars that listen to us so. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's amazing which is crazy because some cars don't even have like CD players <laughs> anymore like my car has a CD player but it's like right on the edge of not having a CD player yeah, I think pretty much the cars are stopping with the CD players lately. Yeah. yeah. Like, and they just have USB ports. Right. And mm. other things. Yeah. Screens. That's what you hook a Walkman up to. <laughs> that, yeah. Perfect. There it is. You can hook. <laughs> that's your, your marketing right there. That's perfect. That's how we're going to sell this. So, guys, if you want a cassette from those hounds, you got to get your old Walkman and plug that right into the USB port. I think it's perfect. Yeah, they also yeah, have converters. Work. Converters. Yeah. You can stick the tape in, and then there's like a string, and then you stick it in your phone or stick it wherever you Absolutely. Perfect. So I just realized, <laughs> as, as we were, 
<laughs> as I realized uh, we were we were going on here, I kind of wanted to introduce Tammy and I because this is our first episode. And in case you're tuning in, not because of Tammy or I, and you're tuning in because of those hounds or because of any of our amazing crew we have. Uh, you guys can't see it because the, the cameras don't move, but we have Aaron GTV, who's over there, one of our tech directors running the cameras. We have Phil Stewart over here running the cameras. Josh Ford, who's one of our producers, uh, standing over here and, and videoing also. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Wesley Williams is running the board behind us. Am I missing anybody? Drake Lolly. Drake Lolly. He's one of our camera directors who I've just met today, so excuse me, I didn't remember your name, but you know, we'll, we'll get there. I have so many names, so many names. <laughs> And so I think I'm doing pretty well. I think you're doing great. I think I got the name thing down. Oh, and the man who helped us do our logo. So Phil and I actually started the logo idea. Kevin had a, a brilliant idea for the logo. And then Ke Phil did part of it. Then I did part of it. And then we handed it over to our man, Jester, who's in the house as well. And he finished our logo. So if you go on over to our Facebook page, Motor City Music Society, you can see the logo that Jester made. I think there's still some tweaking to be made if I, if I have been told correctly. But... Even so, it looks fantastic, and we're very happy. I with think it. it. I think it looks great. It says Motor City, and that's really all that matters. And a shout out to Randy Riddle, apparently from Kevin Wesley Williams in the booth. I wish you guys could hear them. It'd be a lot easier if if the people in the podcast could hear Kevin Wesley Williams talking to me in my ear. I feel like I'm on a news anchor situation. I have people talking in my ear. But anyway. You're Same thing here, and it's my first time, so. <laughs> and I, so I just wanted to tell you guys, like, who me and Tammy are. And so I've been doing a lot of talking, so I'm going to shut up for a minute. Tammy, tell them about who you are for a minute. Okay, my name is Tammy Lynn, if you don't know me. Um, I'm, I've been around the area for a long time. I am a DJ. I also do karaoke. I love to do inspirational videos. I love music. A big, passionate music lover. And I'm just so thankful to be here. So thank you guys for asking me. I think this is amazing. Absolutely. And what exactly. what else do you do like with like tell us more about what you do with music cuz I know you do a lot. So I do. I mean, well, music inspires me. So every morning I wake up and listen to music. I've been doing that since probably about 5. So mm -hmm. that's pretty much what I do with it. Um and I just use music to get into a good mood or just any other way that people do and I just respect it so much. I think it's probably one of the number one things in my life is mm -hmm. music. It's like the Boston yeah. song. I woke up this morning and the sun. What's the next line? I forgot. That's the whole reason I was singing it. I don't know. Boston, I turned on some music to stop my day. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted <laughs> to talk about. Um, and so, yeah, no, it's it's fantastic. I just met you, Tammy, if a little bit ago. But, Not too long ago. But we're basically the same person, so it works. We click well. We click. Love it. I love it. <laughs> um, and in case you guys don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Akamando. I am the lead singer, one of the songwriters of Elsie Banks, which is um, our home base is also the sound shop, which is where we are right now, if I haven't said that. Those Hounds is... Um, set home base is here too. They record here. I don't know if we've mentioned that yet either. I'm sure we'll get there. We have lots of stuff to cover. <laughs> we have tons of stuff to cover. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much who we are. And, uh, uh, if you're watching on YouTube and you want to comment, I believe you can comment live. I think maybe I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent. Uh, familiar with YouTube Live, so we'll see. Uh, but I kind of want to get going and hear some yeah, music. Absolutely, and the uh, you guys are playing your first song, Mister Undertow. It's on the EP that's coming out on correct yeah. January twenty yep. seventh, the release show. So this is a new song that no one's really heard yet before, right? Yeah, we've been playing at shows, but uh, it's going to be the opening track on the EP. So awesome. it's uh, amazing. Yeah, I mean. You know, it's it's new for us and probably new for everyone else out there. So I'm super excited. You guys ready? I think uh, real quick. Oh you, yeah. When you come into the show, you get a free copy of the EP with admission. So oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah I Sweet. forgot the important part. That's important. <laughs> yeah, let's tell everybody. That. And and it's 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 Iron Downey Jr.'s first show ever. As well, yeah, ever, ever, ever. Yeah. That's really cool. That's great great ever, information. Ever? Forever, ever. Yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> so, how much is it to get into the show? It is eight dollars. Okay, awesome. So, for eight dollars, you get an EP, which is pretty badass. Mm -hmm. And a really cool show. And <laughs> a cool show full of amazing lots of fun show. people. And you're getting ready to get an amazing show here tonight. So true. Yeah, we're excited, you guys. So, whenever you boys are ready, give us your uh, first song. Right. Let's Ooh. go. Yeah. <laughs>
Awesome, guys. Really Ooh. love that. <laughs> Once <you>. again, <laughs> we're here with Motor City Music Society. I'm Tammy. This is Aaron. Hi. Hi. I just want to ask you guys, I want to get a little bit more information about that song. That song was called Mr. Undertow. Correct. And I just want to know what uh, brought that song on. How'd you, how'd you write it? How'd it come along? What's the story behind it? Um, the story of what the song is about. About or just how we kind of wrote it as how a band? How it came together as a band. Um, it just started as like a real loose skeleton of an idea that I had, and then I kind of brought it um, to Charlie and Kevin, and it kind of just evolved into that driving bass line and drums on the verse, and then kind of progressed into that big climatic uh, chaos at the end there. Nice. I like it. Um, uh, we had a chance to do a pre-interview with you guys, and you said uh, that it really started with you guys pretty much you uh, you and Kevin in your basement in 2014 or where you were practicing was loosely formatted. Did you have a plan when you did that before? Um, I mean, it was really just jams for a while between like me and Kevin. Jam and, sessions. Yeah, and we uh, really didn't get anything, you know, get our stuff together till about uh, 2014, Kevin? Yeah, that's, when we, started, yeah, that's mm-hmm. when we started to get serious and put everything, you know, on paper. We used to play um, just as a guitar and drums duo and just play really loud to make up for the fact we didn't have a bass player. But uh, then we brought uh, Charlie into the mix to make more noise with us <laughs> and take nice. over the low end, and we've turned down only slightly. <laughs> it sounds great, you know, now. And I um, also was wondering, I was thinking about it, uh, do you guys have any rituals before you go on stage to play a live show? Is there anything you do beforehand to prepare? 
Um, <laughs> yeah. No, no. We can talk about it on, on the podcast. A, on a, no, <laughs> not, not, not on, on the PG public. podcast. Not on the PG podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. Um, I gotcha. We hold hands and. Uh, Grace. Yes. <laughs> nice. And um, we have we a glass of... We, t- we talk about what we learned that day. Yep. <laughs> and we have a glass of wine and we get on stage and play. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, another question I have for you personally is, um, is there anything crazy that's happened when you've been performing live? Any any crazy story you can tell me about something that happened when you're on stage or... Um, we've broken a few instruments here and there. That's um, one of my questions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to know how that, so you mentioned that you guys, like, destroyed a guitar on stage. I just want to know, like, why, how, like, what's the story yeah. behind that? Um, it was kind of a heat of the moment thing. It was actually, that song we just played was at the end of our set. Mm-hmm. Um, we were playing at the Loving Touch in Ferndale, and uh, we were just kind of drawing out that little bit of noise at the end, and we were going to play the ending riff one more time, and I just decided I was going to... Uh, Yell through the pickups um, <laughs> with all the fuzz on, and I threw my guitar on the ground, and the headstock just flew across the stage, and then I, there I was yelling into a guitar with no headstock, and <laughs> then I just, Feeling. it was already broken, so I threw it across the stage at the end. Finish him, I mean, right? Finish him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it didn't really hit me what I did till afterwards, and then I was looking at it like, oh. oops. Oh, that's sad. And Absolutely. Charlie's thrown his bases around quite a few times and yeah. broken a few pieces, but... I haven't broke a full guitar yet. No, he's That's not. Good. He's not at my level yet. <laughs> it's just a good excuse to get a new one, though, isn't it? Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I mean, why not? <laughs> Again, our producers are like talking in our ear. Kevin, next t- this is what I've learned. Kevin, we need you to be like a part of the podcast next time, and you're gonna totally. you set yourself. That's you won't. That's <laughs> we can have like a recliner right here in the middle. That's true. Kevin yes. can be in the room. Yes, he's, for sure. Kevin's got a, like a dedicated camera, doesn't he's he? Great. So I think yes. He, I think he's actually going to set up his own mic right now, so he can like. Chi- oh, okay. He next can't. time. <laughs> next time. Next time. Next time, we're coming for you. <laughs> we're coming for you. <laughs> Ivan's just going to like be here, sitting at, at every single podcast, ominously in the corner. Ominously, and that's something else I should say out loud is that Ivan does some engineering here at the sound shop. And do you have any particular bands that like you you have done recently or anything like that? Um, I've. Some recent records I've done, I did uh, the new Backswing uh, EP, mm-hmm. which is kind of really uh, really heavy music um, <laughs> for angry people, um, angry but people. it's it's great. Those all, all the people in the band are just awesome people and great to work with. Um, Boogie Nights, um, Hoss Burley, The Messenger Birds are all just a few that I've worked with semi-recently here. That's awesome. Had great experiences with. And so I think if people uh, you know, like what they hear on your records, because I'm assuming, did you mix your own records? Uh, yes. Okay, that's what I thought, because I nice. read my notes. Uh, <laughs> you do. I read my notes, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so if you like how their record sounds, which you're, I know you're hearing them live right now, but you can find them, all of that first EP, uh, we haven't heard anything from your first EP yet, or LP, I should say. Um, but <laughs> But you can hear it at their band camp, which is thosehounds.bandcamp.com. Uh, so if you want to go check that out and you like what you hear, you should have Ivan come do your music for you here at the Sound Shop. I'd love to work with you. There you go. Um, and something else I would love to get some stories out of you, especially you quiet ones over there. Uh, <laughs> because it's our first episode, I kind of wanted to celebrate like first times, like um, nothing too creepy. <laughs> <laughs> PG podcast. PG podcast. podcast. Uh, but, uh, you know, like your first time, like you realized maybe music was your favorite thing to do or the first time you set foot on stage. You know what I mean? Like if there's a particular first time you can think of, like just go, we just want to hear it. Um, you want to go Charles? Yeah. My first show with this band was probably my favorite musical experience. I've been making music just as long as these two has. And we, my first show was record store day, 2014, 15, 15. 2015 at Weirdsville records in lovely, beautiful downtown Mount Clemens. Hi, Davey and Lisa. <laughs> uh, I had a really good time. I had been in the band for maybe two weeks before that, and I had a crash course from that, this guy, from Ivan, just kind of in my bedroom, like, hey, these are songs, learn them. And I did that, and then they just kind of threw me on it, and I had the most fun I've ever had. This is the first <laughs> time I've ever played an instrument in a band, so. Oh. Yeah. Throw them into the fire. Just go. Yeah, I had a, <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite musical, and my, I guess my favorite first 
musically. <laughs> so musically. Did you um, play bass before that? Uh, not in a band. It was the first instrument I ever picked up and learned how to play. I bugged my parents when I was like 10, you know, to get me one. But I never really, I wanted to play a guitar like most play, bass players do. Of course. But I, I like it. It's fun. I have a good time. I think every bass player started as a guitar player. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> cross. I just shot across the bow. It's okay. The bow, the bow. <laughs> bow, bow. You know what I'm saying. Bow. Um, I think, Kevin, did you have a story? I was going to pretty much say the same thing with him. The first oh. time I played with this band, it's like, oh, cool. We got something here. All the other bands were, I was in were, were cool, too, but they were just kind of like jams, having fun, stuff like that. But this was like, I think we take ourselves, or we take our music seriously, not mm-hmm. ourselves seriously, but. That's important. Yeah. yeah. What it's about you? <laughs> what about you, Ivan? You got a favorite first? Um, yeah, Ivan. Yes, well, Ivan. Uh, Let's hear your favorite first. A recent first. favorite first. Uh, oh. We just did our first uh, Creepy Cheapy at the Crowfoot uh, yes. this past Halloween. Mm-hmm. And we played a set as Queens of the Stone Age. And it was I heard. wall-to-wall people all singing along. It was just crazy. I've actually, yeah. I had never heard of the Creepy Cheapy before this year. Somebody told me about it like, like the week before it was happening. I couldn't go. I had a gig. But... Uh, yeah, I had no idea what it was, and now it's like it's I really want to get. Fun. I really want to do it next year. Yeah, it's absolutely and, insane. And you'll get real into it because Halloween's your favorite holiday. You said yes. earlier. Yes. Yes, it is. Do you guys dress up on stage for that show? I, I, yeah, uh, I was, I was, I was Amy Winehouse, and I was looking forward <laughs> to it. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah, you dressed yeah. up as Amy Winehouse. Did you he black out the good. tooth and all? No, I, I didn't do the gap or anything like that, and I kind of just did. Uh, Poorly, oh, I have to edit. Poorly drawn <laughs> tattoos, but uh, yeah, no, it was. I, I love, I love Halloween. Like we did a Halloween show two years ago, and I really wanted us all to dress up like Kiss, and I was really happy when they did it. So oh, yeah, amazing. we did do that. That's amazing. <laughs> it is. I have one more Amy Winehouse question. Uh, did you? I can, we can do this all day. Uh, yes. For the did next you bring hour. the uh, paraphernalia props with you too? No, no, no? no I did not. Uh, no pipes. Anything? No, all right. Like that, no. All right. I just really want to see a picture of it. I would like, love when to we're, see it. When we're done here, I or even I don't even care if you do it like while we're talking. I just need you to find a picture of it. I was, oh, there's I was hands sure. down the worst Amy. There's like maybe eight Amy Winehouses at that. Wow, show. for real? Hands down the worst. No, he Believe was so good not. looking. Was yeah. so random. Was Amy Winehouse like the popular costume of the year, or was it just? No, I saw a lot of Elevens from Stranger Things. Oh yeah, yeah. nice. Yep. All mm-hmm. right. Awesome. I believe that. And probably a lot of Harley Quinns, too. It was oh, the yeah. year. A lot. It was the year of the Harley Quinn. I didn't dress up as Harley Quinn for, for Halloween, but I I went as Harley Quinn to the movie and then <laughs> fell asleep during the movie because we know how that movie was. Yeah. It was uh, fantastic, but I mean, right? It was, yeah, it was so good. Good thing there are no um, sponsors that uh, like that movie. Actually, that's something we should we talk about while I'm on the, we'll talk on about the topic. It. I think you should take tell tell the people about the sponsorship opportunities and what, what we'd like to do and what our plan is for this. Okay, so this is our first show right now, but we do have and we are offering sponsorships and advertisements with local businesses because we'd like to promote only not only the local live music, but the local businesses. So we're able to do spots for you, 15 seconds, 30 second spots to advertise your local business here on this on this podcast as well as the music because I think just as a community coming together we can all support each other and that goes hand in hand businesses music everybody it's just all unity for me so you do have an opportunity to do that and you can email Aaron we'll get the link for you and it's going to be great so if you're interested in that we'd love to have you yeah so I I drew up actually a couple uh package ideas a few weeks ago and like like she said email me um or you can just email I will see the email if you do um, Motor City Music Society at gmail.com. That's safe. I will see it. Uh, I have some package ideas, like the bottom package is basically you're going to be on just the podcast version, and uh, that's going to be available on iTunes, hopefully Spotify, because Spotify has podcasts now, which nice. seems like a, I, that's how I listen to podcasts now, like mm-hmm. hands down. I Yeah, because I have an Android. I don't mess with iTunes on my phone. So, so way to go, Spotify. I paid for it before. If I didn't, I would have. I'm a big Spotify lover. I know. I love it. We we need to get Spotify to sponsor this. Oh, yeah. We'll be set. 
That'd be great. But anyway, the first the first package is going to be, you know, just just the audio, just the podcast part. The second one we were thinking was going to be the podcast and the YouTube. And then the third one would be the podcast, the YouTube and the Facebook video. And so, you know, you can pick your thing however you want to. Uh, we're thinking like a three month minimum. So you pay for six episodes at a time kind of deal. And maybe you have a specific event that you want to choose like, oh, I, I don't want to do it right now, but let's schedule to do it from, you know, March March to whatever date my brain doesn't work with math. So whatever three months is from, you know, March, April, May, say you want to do it that way, you can totally do that. So if you're interested, like like Tammy said, email me at Motor City Music Society at Gmail dot com. Yeah. I thought that was something good to mention. I think it's great, especially if you if you're a local restaurant business, uh, like a pizza place, you know, there are all kinds of places around here we want to support. We want to come together. So we would love to advertise for you. So get a hold of us. and We're going to do that. Absolutely, absolutely. Kevin fr- from the producer booth said, "Jimmy John's, J- Jimmy local- John's would be great. Local Jimmy John's. I want to get our local sushi place because we eat sushi like crazy. <laughs> sushi was great, and then Jimmy John's is freaky fast, so we can do both. I know. Be great. We're just we're just hot messes of sponsorships yes. right now, and none of these people and are we're hungry girls. So it's food comes out first. Can you tell that we're hungry? <laughs> we're just talking about food the whole time. Yes. They he he said that he says." grace beforehand i i don't know so i said well definitely you eat before you play so before, yeah so we all love food so before but other sushi. things too you know things to do with music anything that's yeah. going to help the local businesses in the area Absolutely. i think so jimmy john's please sponsor us <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because ivan wants jimmy john's right now yes. i think we're all hungry people what's your favorite sub at jimmy john's oh, the 10. italian nightclub mm. beach club number Kevin. 10 number what's number 10 uh hunters yeah. the one with roast beef Oh, I like See ya. <laughs> I know. Club. Yep. I like Club Lulu too, but recently I got the biggest one, the gargantuan. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I was in bed for like two days eating it. <laughs> I just wake up and eat it again and then wake up and eat it again. So it's a big sub. So, yeah, Jimmy John's, we're looking for you and any any other local yeah, businesses. We're we going should... to come to you too. We we're going to get out there, right? Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. Well, I think I think with that hungriness, uh, yes. I think we want to go to another song. Is that cool with you guys? Yeah. Cool. We're we're running right on schedule as, you know, minus the 45 minutes. <laughs> minus the 45 minutes that it took us to get set up that we thought we wouldn't need. We're running right on time. So, uh, yeah, you guys have a song from your LP that's currently on Bandcamp. Correct. The one that you can currently get if you go to a show on CD and cassette. And it's called Mother Earth is Sick. And this song is Thanks. called Thunder Overhead, right? Yes. Yes. So this one you're going to hear right now is Thunder Overhead. Let's hear it. Over my head, the day of the tiger, 
with the girl Those Hounds. I feel like I'm on the radio. Welcome back. That was Those Hounds uh, with their song from their first LP, Mother Earth is Sick. It's called Thunder Overhead, and you can get that at thosehounds.bandcamp.com. Or if you go to any of their shows, you can get it on CD and cassette. And is your next show the um, the release show? Do you have any shows before then? Nope. We awesome. are laying low to the release show. Good to know. So... The reason I'm asking is because the next time you can get that album, either on CD or cassette, is going to be on January 27th at their CD release party for their upcoming EP, Matrimony, even though that one was from the other LP. You know, you get it. I just wanted them to know how they can get your music. You can music. get both. You can get both. And like they said earlier, if you're just now tuning in, uh, you're going to get the new EP for free when you walk in the door on January 27th. The cover is $8, but you're going to get that EP for free as soon as you walk in. So. If you pay, you get it. If you freeload... Then, then well, we can't help you. Sorry. We'll probably still get it to you. But <laughs> They're just going to be like, oh, you came. Okay, well, here's your CD now. Exactly. Actually, the first time we had merch stolen from us was actually pretty cool. Yeah, right? it, was, it was at the old Miami. Yeah. <laughs> it was really great, yeah. It was I a good would, milestone as a band. I would be excited, yeah, too. Someone, someone stole our TV off our table. It was really great. Yeah. Your TV? No, our CD. Oh, I'm like, your TV? I you thought had you said it. TV I say too. TV? I, I think you well, may Well, it's not recording, so they'll be able to... <laughs> We'll check the tape. I was like, well, no wonder you, they stole a TV. You had a TV sitting on your table. No, they stole a CD, and we were like, well, if they wanted it that bad, then exactly. that's kind of cool. I leave my merch. like I take my cash box with me a lot, and then I just leave my merch table completely unattended. And people are like, aren't you worried that people are going to steal it? I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, all. if they do, yeah. that's fantastic. If you want my stuff, okay. take I, it. Tell your friends. That's exactly. You're just promoting my band for free. Right. I'm really not <laughs> upset about it. That's funny, though. Um, so I want to ask you guys. I know we kind of know the process now that you guys go through. I know, Ivan, you kind of bring the skeletal structure of the song. But um, how does this one in particular, Thunder Overhead, how did the, like, the lyrics, how do you guys write lyrics? Do they just like pop out or do you like really have to sit and work on them? Um, that's kind of, I guess, my department, too. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of new in the whole vocal and lyricist department. Me and Kevin both, like... Uh, that was part of the reason when we started the band, we were just like, oh, we need a bass player that can sing because neither of us want to do it. And then <laughs> it didn't end up working out with some people we were you know, trying out, and then mm -hmm. we decided to do it ourselves. And then I was like, well, if Kurt Cobain can do it, then I can yap into a microphone. So There you go. Yeah, so we kind of went from there. I mean, the lyrics for that song just you know, kind of goes back to our whole snotty disdain and just collecting words that sound cool together on paper and let people interpret them how they want no that's far easier than my lyric writing i'm like trying to tell tell a story and shit and then it's complicated <laughs> it's too much i just need to be more like you guys just words that sound good just, together just be pissed no. off just be pissed <laughs> off yeah. none of my songs are pissed off they're just they're either really happy or really sad no, so I mean, they're not angry yeah i mean i write songs that are you know probably angry or also kind of sad but i mean it's Whatever people want to interpret it as. I mean, yeah. you know, people are going to find their own meaning in it. So It's true. That's what music is all about. And yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned Cobain because we're about to play a game. <laughs> and see. Yes. 
and see. It doesn't um, involve a shotgun, does it? No, no. Oh my god, that got dark. That's a horrible way to start a game. (laughs) Yes, that's got so dark so quickly. No, we're not. No, there will be no guns involved. No guns. Um, but. Kevin's trying to talk to me, bro. I'm talking in a podcast right now. <laughs> you need to get your own mic if you want to talk to me right now. Like I cannot talk on your and listen simultaneously. I'm not a good news anchor, okay? Uh, <laughs> so the game that I would like to play with you, it's going to be very similar to the game you know, which I have to edit to even say it. F, marry, or kill. Oh. It's yes. not going to be that game. I'm switching it up. Okay. What's the F word? Yeah, what's the F in that one mean? Frank and beans. That. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you for thinking faster than I can. Yes. No, I uh, so we're going to play <laughs> drink, play, or dress, which means have a drink with, play a show with, or switch wardrobe with. Oh, I love this game. Oh, <laughs> and, and Kurt Cobain is involved. Your three yes. choices are Prince, Ooh. Nirvana, and Black Sabbath. But see, I don't want you to just be like, uh, I want to play a show with this. I want to I want to know like why. I want like the deep-seated reasons here. Well, I, I where think, they come let from. Let Charlie do this one. I it, think, I, no, I want us all to be involved, but I think, yes. I think we can all just knock this one right out. I think we all want to dress like Prince, right? Oh, that's exactly right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. What is it? I want dress, to, too. Dress play like? With, yeah. What else? Dress, Wardrobe. Play with, and drink. Yes. Oh. Uh, so we all want to dress like Prince. Mm. Prince didn't drink, you know. Prince... Nope. Prince, all of Prince's songs are about three things. I can't talk about what one of them were. <laughs> but you weren't doing one of those things hard enough. You weren't praying hard enough. Or you weren't funking hard enough. That's a so. great thing. Mm-hmm. So I think we all want to dress like Prince. Mm-hmm. For sure. You guys are all have p- purple on in some way. Oh, wait, no, Kevin guitar. doesn't have purple. Ta-da. Kevin, you're purple I know. I actually painted this when we did Prince yeah. Night. That's, yeah, that's perfect. Nice. That's perfect. So that nice. I kind of was hoping if I threw Prince in the mix that that would be the answer. Yeah. Oh no, that's. Oh, yeah. exactly. I'm so Absolutely. glad. Yeah. I'm so glad. We all want to dress like Prince, but what about the other two? So now, yeah, you have oh. to pick a band to play with and pink a Sabbath. Bleh. I'd play with. All would you? Wear, wouldn't you rather drink with Sabbath? No, because Bill Ward's my hero, and I'd want to. I want to play with Sabbath like pr- back in the '70s. Like, you can yeah. have. You can have different yeah. answers, by the way. Yeah. I. Well, w- I think Ward, we were all on the same page with that first. Bill Ward's yeah. my hero, and I want to play a show with him. So. Okay. So you want to play with Sabbath? Yeah, not drink with Kurt. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather drink with Sabbath and play with Nirvana. Same here. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why exactly is that? I just want to pick your brains. Uh, well, <laughs> Kurt Cobain made really cool sounds with his guitar. Yes, he did. I'd like to see it. I can't answer that question because this is a PG podcast. But just say Chris, what you can. Chris Novoselic, the bass player of Nirvana, and I have a lot of the same hobbies outside of music. Fair. So that would be a reason that I would rather kind of play and hang out with them. But I guess drinking with Sabbath, they would probably have a lot better stories. That's like, true. You know, so I'd like to hear like what they I mean, had to say more than I hear what three burnouts from Seattle would have to say. <laughs> How true mm-hmm. is that? I mean, yeah, I hadn't even thought of that. I don't even, I want us to answer this too. And I think that <laughs> mine is different. I don't want to dress like Prince. I want to dress like Nirvana. I get it. I seen you in the flannel, I, flannel shirt the I other don't day. wanna I'm good with the print stuff. And I think I wanna play a show with Sabbath because that's fun and I'd probably wanna get up and, and sing with them. That's and then I just wanna just sit and talk to Prince and drink with him. That's I think that's where I'm going. He'd probably give you like three seconds and then he'd go out the door. Or or he'd, yeah. t- or he'd talk to you <laughs> about Jehovah door. for like yeah. three You're, hours. You know what? Maybe yeah. my choices are wrong. You know what? This I, might have been... Uh, I didn't think this I, through. A poof of purple smoke. <laughs> he's, poof, gone. he's gone. I was thinking he might make your pancakes. <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, I've actually... Who was it? So my <laughs> idol my idol of all time is Pink. Like She's like tattooed on my shoulder. And she, she recently did an interview when he... Oh, it was when Prince passed. She did an interview and she got like a ton of horrible press because she was like, yeah, he, he, um, in passing in an interview, she was like, yeah, I met him once and he blew me off and he, um, called her an F, effer. An effer? Yeah. A, a funker. A funker. Let's go with that. Yes. Let's go with funker. And she got a bunch of horrible press because she said that one thing and she was like, no, it really wasn't like that. He just didn't have time for me. He's Prince. Right. <laughs> he didn't have time for anybody. He's Prince. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, yeah, you're right. That I, my drink might have been a shot. Okay, let's do a shot with Prince and then he runs away. Sad face. Oh my goodness. I would have thought I would have said something different because Prince's wardrobe, yeah, I would love to rock it, but I I don't know. I guess Black Sabbath I would because I 
I really wouldn't even know because I don't play anything. So I just I would prince it all up all day. I mean, I would have a prince a thon, and then I would. <laughs> I I can't even say I would invite Nirvana, but I can't. And Black Sabbath, yeah. I I didn't answer the question right, but no, okay. I just can't stop thinking about Prince when you say Prince. Yeah, it's it's fair. It's fair. I feel like <laughs> because there's so many people in the room, I wish we all had microphones and we could just totally. like all talk to each other. <laughs> and I'd be like, "Sexy Phil, what are you? The energy?" I just I want to talk to everybody. Do yes. either of you? I was gonna say, do either of you want to answer the question? Because you can just hop on my mic if you want to. Yes. Like I'm totally down. Aaron's thinking about it. Sexy Phil, you're the closest to me, so you could answer if you. He's like, no. He's I can see Aaron dressed like Prince. Yeah. He would look real good. Let's get Aaron in here. Yeah, dude. All right, I got something. All right. All he's right. got it. One of the choices here. So we have, you have to, um, you can drink with, play with, show with, and then, you know, switch wardrobe with. Your options are Prince, Nirvana, Black Sabbath. Okay. Uh, I think it would dress like Black Sabbath. Okay. Big change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, personally. Uh, I think Prince doesn't drink, right? Um, I don't drink. I really so I messed up my choices here. I would here. drink with Prince. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> because you both don't drink. Yeah, it's like, oh, what, what is would this happen? like? We won't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever know. And then what was the other choice? Uh, Nirvana. Play with. Uh, yeah, play with show with. Play show with them. Fair. Yeah. Ah, rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, so we got one of our tech directors involved in the show, which is fantastic. That was Aaron GTV. Oh, to move oh Kevin's, Kevin's oh, coming amazing. in the frame. Kevin's wanna, coming wanna, in the I wanna, room. I want to drink with Black Sabbath. I want to play a show with Black Sabbath. And I want to dress <laughs> like Black Sabbath. Yes, yeah, awesome. Kevin. See, I, and the rest of it. So. I wasn't too far off for oh. Prince in the three. <laughs> our engineer just, if in case you don't know who Kevin Wesley Williams Prince, is. didn't mean it. That, <laughs> that one, that man that just ran in in the blue is our engineer who is in the other room sitting that's kevin wesley williams and and that doesn't surprise me one bit i'm sure he toured with black sabbath that probably wouldn't surprise me does anybody have confirmation on that kevin did you tour with black sabbath he toured with Dio. no he, he was confirm nor deny, so he was very good friends with randy rhodes so yeah it's nice nice so that doesn't surprise me one one tiny bit I heard, I've heard a lot from him, and it's great. A lot of the different people that he toured with or mixed with, one of them being Megadeth. But uh, I didn't know this until just, just the other day when I watched the commercial. I heard Madonna, and I started screaming. I'm like, yes, Madonna. Dude, we have, oh, the, Kevin. We have the same taste in music. I you think should we be friends. Really? Awesome. Kevin has, <laughs> Kevin has a lot of Madonna stories because he did tour with Madonna. <sighs> That happened. That's a whole podcast right there. That'd be whole, amazing. That's a whole show. <laughs> Kevin, Madonna we just need a podcast. Like, just what a, era, Madonna? You need to tell us. <laughs> oh, oh every, every time he talks, it's just dead air. Was it the cone <laughs> era or was it like the... Uh-oh. I'll, I'll tell you guys nice. in a second. All right. He did the SNL show. That's what awesome. he said. Awesome. Okay. The okay. SNL show with Joey Buttafuoco. So, okay. So now, now we've learned a valuable lesson that Kevin can't not have a mic because he... He interjects too often. He's part of the yeah, conversation. He's a he great interjector. He can't. <laughs> that's what she said. Um, <laughs> but he just has too much to say. He just has too much to Interjection. say. Interjection. I can interject a turkey. That's right. <laughs> Is that what you do? Inject a turkey. Yes. All right. All right. Okay. We digress. I'll stop with so the I have Before we do another song, I have one more question, and it's about Hall & Oates. Hey. Yeah. And it's and I just um, you guys have one cover available to purchase on Bandcamp and it's called Man Eater and it's by Hall and Oates and I just want to know why. Um, why that's on why did you pick Hall yeah. and Oates? Rock and roll duo of all time. Yeah, they're the like top selling duo of all time. I why wouldn't we want to like, cover them? That's fair. <laughs> it was I personally song. love Hall and Oates and Man Eater is a great song, definitely. Where are they Hall and Oates to? What? Where are they Hall and Oates to? Oh I got it. Who's Hall and Oates? I'm yeah. really oh, not dad. I'm like what? <laughs> I don't get it. Like oh yeah. my god. No, yeah. I just I just really wanted to know because it seemed r- not random, but kind random. Of. It was kind of like, we should do a Hall & Oates cover. It's like, sure, what song do we should do? I mean... Man Eater, and then we just kind of did it. <laughs> I'm not going to say we don't listen to Hall & Oates on the way to gigs because yeah. we do sometimes. <laughs> or the, or <laughs> That's part of your pre-ritual. That's, yep. No, we did, we did listen to the Ghostbusters theme one time. We listened that was awesome. The Ghostbusters <laughs> theme on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the Ray Charles Parker one? Oh, oh, yeah. Who are you going to yeah. call? Bustin' makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah sorry. That would make me feel good, too. I love <laughs> that song. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. I, I went too far ahead. No, it's okay. I just heard the Bustin' makes me feel good, and I <laughs> well, lost I, it. Well, I was thinking that. Ghost Bustin' makes me feel good. <laughs> the, what's ironic is that this only can really be edited 
for the podcast, which could be the dirtiest part, but it can't be edited from video because it exists already. We're live. We've, we're backwards. This is all bass backwards we're is what's learning. happening. We're learning. This is a learning opportunity. And uh, we have, let me refresh here. I've been refreshing the whole time. We have lots and lots of watchers, Woo. viewers, viewers. We have 16 viewers. Uh, and thank you for tuning in, just in case you're kind of just now My catching up. My mom and up. dad. Hi. <laughs> Charlie said Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is the Motor City Music Society uh, podcast. This is episode one, and in case you don't know who we are, who are currently on screen, my name is Aaron, and that is Tammy. I'm Tammy here. <laughs> I'm Tammy here. I got that country mode going on right now. No, but I'm Tammy. I'm Tammy Lynn. And I'm Aaron Accomando, and we are at the Sound Shop in Macomb. This is our home base. This is my band's home base, Elsie Binks' home base. This is the, this is hard to say, the Those Hounds is... <laughs> home base. That's hard That's to right. say. This is their home base. That's those hounds. This is their home base too, kind of, because yeah. you record here. Correct. That's what yeah. you do. I feel like that's just home base. They're they're those hounds' is bases. It's very good. Ba- I don't know. It's very. Did you guys think about that before you named nope. the band? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, nope. We just we were just those hounds. Nope. Sometimes I refer to you as um, just the hounds. I'm like, the, where are the hounds? You're not those hounds. You're just hounds. That works that's cool. Sometimes. Yeah. I like it. And when people see your sticker that's here, they're like, um, did somebody accidentally? So that in case you've never seen the sticker, in case you've never been in Kevin's studio, they have, uh, you know, those very typical, I love my, and then it has the breed of dog. It literally says, I love my, those hounds. And people think it's a typo all the time. They're like, what is that? <laughs> mean? I'm like, quiet. it's, yeah. they're like, what is that even? Who does he that's know right. that that's a typo? I'm like, it's, yeah, gonna- it's a band. <laughs> We're going to do an entire line of stickers. You can take my those hounds when you pry it from my cold, dead fingers. <laughs> Don't blame me. I voted for those hounds. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think that's a perfect segue. Yes. Yes. I think it's a perfect segue. And um, I want you guys to play another song. And this next one is going to be from the up and coming album, Matrimony EP. It's called Song for Miscreants. Correct? Yes, it is. Awesome. So uh, let the music play whenever you guys are ready. This, this, this is Those Hounds.
the Motor City Music Society live feed right now we got here. We are here with Those Hounds. That was awesome song. It was called Song for Miscreants off your Matrimony new album that's coming out. EP that's coming out on January 27th. And I want to ask you how that song came along and then we're going to play a little game. A game? A little game. game. But first we want to know about that song. We want to know about that song. (laughs) I got to go potty. Oh, All right. Well, well that's that good happens. To know. Drummer's we, taking a potty break. We don't need him. Anyway. Bye. Actually, this story about this song is one of my favorites. Then actually. please do tell it. Uh, please. I don't know this. What, what story are we well, telling? This star. This song started as a whole different song. Actually, kind of the same song, but not really. A lot slower. A little bit more creepy. And then oh. Ivan and I lived together. Uh, so one day he kind of just went upstairs and says, I think I'm going to try and rewrite that song. And yeah, he and came I like down about, uh, what, two hours later with a brand new song, and it was that. <laughs> it was kind of the same notes, but it was a lot faster and a lot more stuff added. I just, I wasn't happy with the song the way it was originally. We were working on it as a band, mm-hmm. you know, from the skeleton to, you know, almost a full song. And it was almost like we're all ready to play this song in front of people, but it just, it was missing something. I, completely went back to the drawing board on it i've done that myself there was a song i think i rewrote like literally three times before Mm -hmm. i gave it even demoed out to the band i'm like nobody can hear this until it's like okay (laughs) i totally understand it's awful and when something like that happens do you feel like sometimes you need to walk away from the song for a few minutes and go back to it or even you know a day or two go back to it and then you can see a new fresh perspective on the song is that how you feel as well or just kind of definitely yeah i mean that's Basically, my every day is, you know, I'll get frustrated writing a song. And I just, I gotta, I gotta walk away from this and pick it up tomorrow. Put fresh that one to the side, and yeah. you get fresh, fresh yep. inspiration as you sleep. All right, you're back. You're back. I'm back. All right, I got this gotta, game. This game is Would You Rather. I'm sure you've played it before. I got a question for each of you, and I got one for Aaron. Oh, really? I do a surprise okay. question. Okay. All right, we're gonna go. I'm gonna ask you, Ivan, first. Okay. Would you rather listen to Nickelback on repeat all night long, or would you like to eat an entire jar of peanut butter with nothing to swallow it down? Oh. Peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing yeah. to swallow it down. No, Just straight. Great. It's it's great, but when you're ch- choking, it's good. <laughs> I get you. No, I, mean, I like Is peanut that, butter. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like peanut butter too, especially with jelly. That was a no-brainer. <laughs> no-brainer. See, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Charles. 
Would you rather fight Mike, t- m- fight Mike Tyson or would you rather talk like him for the rest of your life? Oh, talk like him without a doubt. Why is that even? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Can, can you can you talk like him now? No, not a, I will not. But not I, if I had if if I woke up one day and I was talking like that, I would not complain at all. Amazing. But I would. I don't think anybody would want to go I thought a that couple that would, seconds with Tyson. I anywhere, thought that man. would be an easier question, only because he's like old now. I mean, he's not. I mean, like, I know he's still tough. Like, he's still Mike Tyson, but like, I don't know. He'll knock you off. He has a face tattoo. Yeah, That's he has true. a face tattoo. He yeah, triggers. he bit someone's ear off. We're gonna whisper about the, the face tattoo. If you wake up speaking like Mike Tyson, do you automatically get like his pigeon collection too? I thought you were gonna ask me do I automatically promote it to lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is that, yes. That goes it, without the saying. Is yes. And yeah. doesn't he have a tiger? Or is that just in the movie Hangover? Or is that I'm what do you sure think? He does. I don't know. Does he really have a tiger? Why would, Whitney? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt you. <laughs> if I was Mike Tyson, I'd have a tiger yeah. for sure, two or four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to ask you, Kevin. You go. You go by BD. Yes. All right. Uh, we asked this. We actually asked this question on Facebook Live earlier. But it's yes. kind of we're kind of modify it because the question is, would you rather fall and hurt yourself on stage, but mostly you're sitting down? So would you rather maybe fall forward into the drums and hurt yourself on stage, or I guess it wouldn't be forget the lyrics. Well, no, forget he's a singer. The drum, for, he's a singer too. You're so singing too. I'm lyrics. Sorry. That's or, or forget the lyrics to the song, or forget the drum pattern. Would you rather fall and hurt yourself, or forget what you're doing live <laughs> on stage? Done both. You've done both. <laughs> you've done both. <laughs> now you've done both of those things. Yeah. Which do you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> um, which was less intense i like falling in my drums i think it's fun i mean it, yeah it definitely can be i mean he's I like throwing he, stuff at the drums he hasn't fell into your drums if you uh. fall into your drums i mean you could hit him in the right spot and make a new beat yeah if you fall <laughs> if i fall on my drums it makes for a good show if i forget the lyrics it's like this guy's what's he got doing you yeah, i got you the yeah. falling on the drums is more entertaining yeah i'll go with that <laughs> aaron yeah are you ready Uh-oh. i don't know I know we're PG, but Uh-oh. people people have been if like, you, screw this PG thing. If you had to comment. actually <laughs> really? accidentally see somebody naked, would you rather see Pee Wee Herm naked or Mr. Rogers naked? Oh, wow. you got to pick one. Oh, boy. Pee Wee Herm and Mr. Rogers. Oh, this is no good. This is like walking on your parents. Can I, can I pick or, you what? You know what I'm saying. Can I pick yeah. what age they Pretty were much. at the time? No. Because it, I heard Rogers no. was like we're, a Navy SEAL. He's covered in tattoos. Because Rogers is also not alive right now. True. I mean, we're talking about the show days. Like, oh, we're talking okay. about back hey, when they're on their show. So, like, you right. So, Pee Wee's Playhouse you, and get... Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. That's a hard one. That's a gross one, but it's, it's hard. A gro- it's, I'm, I'm sorry, if I'm gross. <laughs> no, I meant like it's you funny. have a choice. It's too, too, choice. too bad. I don't. I think it's, it's bad rough things. choices. His name's Paul Rubens. You guys, yeah, Paul it Paul is. Rubens. That's yeah. true. Let's give true. the guy a little bit. I do love Paul Rubens. I do. I do. I would. I think I would have to go with Paul Rubin. Actually, yeah. I would too, yeah, because he's more, yeah. but not as Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> no, I mean, well, Pee-wee's he's Pee-wee? he has experience <laughs> with getting walked in on. So what? <laughs> can, yeah. you, can I get a boomch from that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> boom. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't want to see Pee Wee's. Okay. I really well, don't. I, I I wouldn't either. But if you had to walk in on him, I mean, he's already he's already got experience with that. So I think a lot perfect, of, I perfect think choice. A lot of people did walk. That in was on a him scary question. 90s. That's true. Yeah. That's All a right. scary question. <laughs> the authorities did. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are going to go into another song here right now, and it's going to be your final song. Correct. Oh, we, we could, or we can talk song. more. I had a few more questions. Uh, if you have questions, yeah, go I ahead. do. I w- I've Are been you going back at me? Oh. To be fair, to be fair, I Uh-oh. have been jotting down this whole time as I think of things. You got it. So don't don't Let's worry. Go. I didn't Let's like go. trick you. you <laughs> I've been okay. jotting things down as we go. <laughs> I that know I you think got a question of. for me. So let I know. Go. I have I have a few questions actually. So uh, on top of the would you, it kind of goes along with the would you rather thing, but not um, entirely because I kind of want to leave it open ended, like. If you guys could had to choose a decade, what decade would you choose to like go back to to live like through your prime, like your twenties and thirties? The nineteen forties. Oh, I, wow. was, I was swear to God, I was going to say that yeah. for real. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Why? Because that's, that's where the best music came from and okay. the best fashion. Yeah, that's. Wow. I didn't expect that. You could that. smoke everywhere. You could smoke in a plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. So you, so Charlie and BD agree on the forties. Yes. What do you say? I'd probably be lame and just go back to the 90s. 
but I as lose an adult. I understand. Right. Yeah. Like, right. Like, I, I actually feel exactly the same way. Yeah. I think I would go back to the 70s or the 90s. The 70s was good, too. Yeah. Like, I would have really, even the 60s. Like, I don't, I'm honestly stuck between the 60s, the 70s, and the 90s. Just screw the 80s. I had some time in the 2000s. We don't need any of that shit back. Uh, but Whoa, the 60s. <laughs> sorry. Well, let's cool it, man. <laughs> sorry. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we actually do have some some comments on the YouTube, which is exciting. We have people watching and commenting. Uh, nice. the first The first one was Shane from Here We Harbor. He said, Here We Harbor and Kaleido say hi. 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 We oh. like you guys so much. We love you. Um, oh, a few other people. Uh, I'm not sure who you are. Monster Chuck Blues said sweet. Uh, John That's from dead. what? Oh, wait, is it really? Yeah, yeah. That's Alex's dad, Chuck. Oh, oh hi, hi, Chuck. Yeah. Monster Chuck, what Monster, Monster Chuck, Chuck Blues. Hey, <laughs> they said hi. Uh, John from Core Effect says, "I see Kevin in the reflection." Whoop whoop. Literally, what he said. Oh, that, wow. Whoop whoop. John, tell me if I did the whoop whoop right. Uh, Chris Cartwright. I don't know if you guys know who that <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Cartwright said this PG rating on this podcast needs to go to the wayside. Yeah, it certainly so, does. Mm-hmm. This, I mean, this is the first episode. I'm okay with that, and I, I'm not huge on that. It's just, I feel, I, I feel for the the children of Facebook because Facebook is a place where children can be. No, <laughs> the I didn't, internet is not a place. For I didn't children say to that be. they should be. They need to learn, but they yeah. are, and I just feel bad yes. as somebody who works with kids. One show. We, I, we, you have one PG show, yeah. so. So what the, here's what will happen. Those hounds will come back again, and we'll say the F-bomb as many times as possible. Okay? Sounds good. We'll have the most RX-rated show with the, those hounds. And we'll have, like, a special. We can, we can start it out <laughs> with how... like, whoa, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. We can, that. <laughs> we can wear socks. Just socks. Just yeah. socks. And, yeah, and you can see how many times you can say it in a span of, like, 15 and wait, seconds. Who else, who else commented? I know. This is fun. I know. And yeah. so Chris also said he, instead of playing the drink, play, dress game, he went with the original, the yeah. F, the F, Mary, yeah, kill one. Yeah, of course one. he did. And so he said F, Charlie, uh-huh. Mary, Ivan. Right. And, uh-huh. oh, he's, <laughs> he said I have to get back to you on the kill. But, oh, yeah. But he left Kevin out. So well, yeah, that means he's going to kill me. He's he's gonna kill Kevin. So it means he's he's, Yeah, but he said marry for me. No, I'm no. Married. Or no, he said F he for want. Me. He, yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> so he wants to I marry Ivan. Too. Yeah. And then Bert Henry gave us thumbs up. Bert. Yeah. Bert. Nice. <laughs> and Chris called out Bert and said, "Hey, yo, oh, Bert." Say, I have to say hi to my mom and dad because I know that they're listening, but they just can't figure out on how to comment. So <laughs> that's probably true. Yeah, uh, Jessica Husk said this. Yay, hey, Jess. Hi, Jess. What up, dude? Uh, uh, um, there's th- a lot of repeats, which is why I'm. Okay. Uh, Valerie Claft said, love you guys. New sound Yay! sounds sick. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> she loves she loves the new songs. Uh, Thanks, and Tim God, Ritzler said, so hey, guys. Yeah. Who said that? Tim Ritzler. He he follows. He's a friend of, I think, maybe Elsie Banks, the sound shop. I, know. Hey, I think Tim- we should talk about Val really quick. Because yeah, go ahead. I, I think it's really cool that she's in there. Talk Val's, away. In, Val's in a band called Sweat, and okay. Sweat is an unbelievably good band out of Flint, Michigan, that if anybody listening or seeing this right now should just take five minutes and go check Sweat yeah, out. They're yeah. better than us, so yeah. go ahead. <laughs> so we should just we have them on sweat. the show. Actually, we yeah, saw Sweat should. play. Yeah, if you could swing I'm gonna, that. I'm just going to write that down. So. We actually saw Sweat play at Smalls, which we're playing on January 27th <laughs> for our EP release. Yeah, we haven't said that enough yet. I know, but hey, man. We really haven't, though, because people Drive tune in and out. Home. D- that's that's the whole point. And that's the reason we want to do this podcast is to drive local Detroit music home. That is yeah. the whole point. So we could literally say that 10 times a minute. And well, well if fine. you ever want to yeah, go get your ass closer. kicked at a show v- sonically, go see Sweat because they're oh, really yeah. effing great. <laughs> that's awesome. Pumpkin. I hope that's okay. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I trust you guys. And I, uh, Kayla Lisbinski. Hey, oh. Said said sweat is good. I sh- I'm sure she yeah, means the yeah. band. Yes, but I mean sweating is what good up, too. Bone? Sweating feels good. Yeah. So I think Tin Man, if you're watching. The tin Man. <laughs> All right. So now we may continue on into our final song, Tammy. If you All right. I hope I don't break this stick because it's on its last limb. So Man of Stone. Man of Stone. Yes. Oh, okay. Man of Stone, and that's from the Mother of Earth. It, <laughs> Mother, Mother Earth is <laughs> six sit LP. <laughs> which has already been released. I'm so excited to hear it. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go.
Yes, way to go out with a bang. That was Those Hounds with Man of Stone, and it was on their current LP that is actually on Bandcamp and available on CD and cassette. If you go see them, it's called Mother Earth is Sick. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much. That Thanks. was really taking take that crap out with a bang. That's going, <laughs> man. I was just sitting here trying to social media, and I was like distracted because I was like rocking <laughs> so hard. And when I turned around, I have to tell you guys, when I turned around and did social media in the back, everybody just put their hands up like this. <laughs> oh yeah, it was perfect. It was perfect. It was perfect. Jester and Johnny were like, ah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that I'm sad. I'm kind of sad that that was the last song. Like, I want to be like, just play another 30 minutes. <laughs> and so I feel the same. The, the next time, I know, right? It's like, um, we're just gonna stop talking. Uh, yeah. So the next time you guys can see those hounds live is January 27th at their CD release party for their upcoming EP called Matrimony, and it is at Smalls and Hamtramck. And you're gonna see Red Robe, Bogart, and Iron Downey Jr. with them. Did I say all of it right? That is correct. I just thought chances were like I said 80% of that right, but I'm so glad I got most of 100%, it right. 100%. Awesome. Plus. 100%. Uh, yeah, so that's awesome, and I'm so glad you guys came. And don't worry, we have like one more small tiny game for you guys. Okay. Just one more small tiny one. And the uh, <laughs> this defeats the purpose because the timeline, if the timeline had gone correctly, uh, this was going to be called the 8 at 8. And now it's... Uh. 8.55. And now it's 8.55, so it's just going to be called Rapid Fire Questions. Nice. And what it is, is I was literally, we were just going to go back and forth. We have eight questions between the two of us, and we got all of you answer them. And I kind of want us to answer them, too, if it's possible. Not the person that asked us, but the other person. So as quick as possible, like the first thing that pops into your head is what we're going to do. And so let's stay the same order every time. That way... We're taking turns? Yes. So one question, one question. One question. Okay. And then whoever didn't ask the question will go last. Okay. So okay. Yep. Okay. Like, just like this. And so three. it's not called it. A to 8 today. But It's uh, not called. It's just called. It's we're... just called rapid fire. We're rapid rapid fire go. questions. Yeah. Yes. Rapid fire questions. <laughs> uh, who wants to go? Do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Sure. I'm going to go first. So go, go ahead. Where okay. are we starting? Wherever In the circle. Ivan. Ivan. I'll go first. And go. All right, Ivan, first word you think of when you hear the word moist. Mm. <laughs> moist. Good. Good? Oh, okay. Mm. All right. All right. Nice. What's up? What do we got? Oh, same thing? Same one. Same thing. Uh, gross. <laughs> Shortbread. Mm. Cake. Come. Which I said earlier. Cake? Yeah, you yeah, thought, yeah, thought, thought Aaron thought cake. Right. All right. Starting with Ivan. Favorite ice cream flavor. Go. Uh, vanilla. Uh, cookie dough. Uh, the kind with the chocolate covered potato chips. Jimmy Fallon's ice cream. Oh my uh, goodness. Ben and Jerry's. Uh, Americone Dream. Nope, that's Steve. That's Steve Colbert? <laughs> the, yeah. Uh, 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 the Tonight Dough with oh the cookie dough. That's my favorite. Go. That was Is so specific. Chips, chips in it? What? Chips I, and ice yeah, cream? And chocolate, apparently. There's one with chocolate covered potato chips. I don't think they make it anymore. Oh, really dear. Cool. oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. Yeah, very good. Yeah, shout and out yours? to Jimmy Fallon. I, yeah, Ready right. for my question? Where am I starting? No, no, no. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? My ice cream? Mint chocolate chip. Oh, see. Yeah. At least you had it. Okay, yeah. So start with Ivan. Superman. Time. I don't do good under pressure. It sucks. <laughs> this sucks. This <laughs> <It> sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm starting over here again. All right. Whip or nay? Wait, what was the question? Oh, whip or nay? Oh, whip. Whip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> whip or nay? Nay, nay. Whip or nay? Whip. Whip. Yeah. Whip. Oh, whip. Whip. Yeah. whip for sure. Got a whip. Watch me, nay, nay. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Yeah. What's happening? Is right someone now? whipping Nene? What's? <laughs> There's some song that's playing. Is there a? I, I think, think someone. Do we get someone coming in here to whip Nene? <laughs> We're just gonna have West a party. Space Help. bar. <laughs> Help. We can. We can. <laughs> Help. <laughs> All right, everybody, go. <laughs> All right, thanks I don't for, know if it's having us. Wes so he had so it good. on mute. I, Kevin just wants to end the show right now. <laughs> um, thanks, we're thanks done. for having us, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Kevin said he was whipping. Anyway, okay, that I love whipper nay nay. We're gonna I, have to ask that every time. I get a couple more too. After okay, you. okay, next. good. Yes, next. Puppies or kittens? Go. Puppies. 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 Kittens. Puppies. What the? Okay, what? fine. I mean, I love <laughs> these kittens. But. I get two. You can bow. For a little bit, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay, keep going. <laughs> that was so just. That was puppies. Just awful. All right, my turn. Shut down. Yeah. You didn't. You love kitties. Do you have kitties? I have two cats. That's you why. do. Yeah, that's why. I, my heart is with the kittens. 
We can continue on. We're gonna. I'm okay, only a little heartbroken. All right, Fago. Uh, Fago. You ever drink it? Wait, no. Yeah. What's your favorite flavor? That's my question. Rock and favorite, rye. Rock and rye. Red. Cola. It's got to be rock and rye. Rock and rye. Rock and rye for sure. Rocks for sure. Uh, favorite Disney movie. Lion King. Lion King, yes. Fox and the Hound. Yes. The Emperor's New Groove. Yes. The Little Mermaid. Yes. Yes. I just said yes to every single one. Like, what about you? I mm, probably Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. That's a good one. Honestly, or, yeah, for I love sure. that one. I love that one. All right. Next. I'm gonna do another one. You guys, I was talking to you outside, and you said that you were '90s babies, and you said I could ask you about rap, rap a little bit. So, Snoop or Dre? Snoop. Snoop. Dre. Snoop or Dre, Aaron? Snoop. Snoop. No, Dre. I'm switching. Sorry, Dre. Dre. Yep. Sorry. All right. So we got we got a tie here. So what that means I got a tiebreaker. You have the tiebreaker. I'm gonna ask Phil. Snoop or Dre? Dre. 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 Oh, Dre wins. Dre wins. I, I, wow. All right. Nobody forgot about Dre. Nobody did. Nobody did. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> forgot about no. We're more of an East Coast band anyway, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have one more rapid fire, but I realize visually this might be actually really hard to say out loud, but we're going to try it anyway, and I'll learn my lesson if it doesn't go well. Uh, what's your favorite emoji to use? Uh, the caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Probably the turd. Oh, the 100. <laughs> the 100? Yeah. You. Ha- this is. I'm an emoji you. freak. It's very hard for me. Oh, you, have to, you have to pick. I have to pick three at once. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I can't. There has to be at least three or That's else fine. I can't post anything. Unicorn, snowman, and taco. <laughs> I think mine is sushi and unicorn. Easily sushi and unicorn. Sushi's a good one. I love. I, 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 I use sushi even when I'm not eating sushi. Oh, my goodness. You can make the Sounds caterpillar good. play saxophone with the saxophone emoji. That's my... Yeah, you can make oh. the little boy run after the balloon, too. So I changed mine. My favorite of the boy in the balloon. That hey! <laughs> the boy in the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. That's a boy in the balloon. Is that the real end? It just goes. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels are falling off, man. <laughs> we tried so hard. <laughs> we we tried so hard. I think um, I just... think that might be our cue to just. That was actually the last rapid fire anyway. Was so it really? I'd be all right. Yeah. Yeah. That it was. was. It I, was. I, that really. <laughs> You know the old like shows where they have like the cane that comes out and pulls people <laughs> off stage. I feel like that's what's happening. That's to what's us. going on. It really was the last thing. We really, honestly, that's, that's all we had. Everything else is outro, and um, <laughs> we just we just wanted. Oh my goodness, I have to breathe. Okay, and then of course when we need it, he's going to be like, "Wait, I don't have it quite ready <laughs> yet." Uh, we yeah, we just wanted to say thank you, and um, if you want to follow us on any social media. Um, it's Motor City Music Society on Facebook and Instagram. It's MC Music Society on Twitter and Snapchat. And I have been snapping. We have been snapping and Instagramming yeah. and all sorts of stuff during the show. And Those Hounds, you guys are on social media. That is correct. Uh, we are on Instagram at Those Hounds, uh, Twitter at Those Hounds, uh, Facebook.com slash Those Hounds. That's easy. Yeah, we're not like Those Hounds one. Right. Like someone beat us to it. That's so exciting. We're the originals. Yes. That's what I did too. I'm Elsie Banks everywhere. And Tammy. Elsie Banks. Yes. Tell yeah. them where you can find. Uh, you, you can, can find me. I'm Tammy Lynn on Facebook or you can type in facebook.com forward slash rainbow with three A's. R-A-A-A-I-N-B-O-W. Also, um, I wanted to mention the Sound Shop Studio. Mm-hmm. They also have their page on Facebook, Sound Shop Studio, located up here. It's at uh, just north of Hall Road mm-hmm. on Gratiot. Mm-hmm. You can add mm-hmm. them on there on Facebook and there's lots of great stuff around here you can see what the studio is like if you'd like to come in and record absolutely it's you awesome. can you can call any of us and I want to shout out one more time to the all all of the crew that has great made crew. this happen today there's a, a lot of us mm-hmm. here uh Aaron GTV and Tammy and I of course and Sexy Aaron, Phil awesome. his name is actually Phil Stewart there's a reason I just said that uh, yeah but his name I is keep... Sexy Phil sorry <laughs> Sexy Phil um and then we got Kevin Wesley Williams on the board um <clears throat> excuse West me Mix. Jester is is in there? He worked on our logo quite a lot, and I'm sorry, I've already forgotten the second camera operator's name. Drake. And he's got Drake. 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 Well, all right. I, Don't do it. There it is. I will get your name. I promise. I will get your name. You're just gonna be called Texas because you got a Texas tie-in. I'm really sorry. Love it. You're just Texas now. I just nickname people, and that's how it's gonna be. His name's Drake, and you're gonna give him a nickname? <laughs> <laughs> Texas Drake. Okay. There Texas Drake. 
I think that's acceptable. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if everybody, it, if anybody is interested in the sponsorships that we were talking about earlier, email Motor City Music Society at gmail dot com. I am checking that email personally, uh, and so I will get back to you with the package pricing, blah 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 about that. And I'm pretty sure that's it. We want to advertise for you, so really get a hold of we really get a hold do. of us. We really do. Absolutely. We'll get people hungry for, for your pizza. We, we'll get people wanting to go get an oil change tomorrow. We'll be getting anything, you know. I'm you hungry want. for your pizza, and I don't even know who you are. So. Right, exactly. <laughs> so that's, I'm just hungry all the time. But yeah. A bunch of hungry musicians of are it, here, so we need to advertise for you. Advertise, um, besides supporting local mission, uh, musicians, it's, it's supporting local businesses. We'll all support each mm -hmm. other, come together in unity. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what this is about, I believe. Yeah. Music is unity. And this is just the first episode. Together. And yes. this, and we can't wait the to beginning. keep building this music society community. And we're so grateful that you guys, those hounds, were here for the very first episode. Thanks for and, having um, us. Thank you so much for having us. Of course. And, Thank you so much. Um, if you have anything else to say, what would you say just right now to everybody watching? Or listening. We love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. Listen to Red Robe. Listen to Sweat. Yeah. Um, listen to all our friends. Bands. Listen to uh, all the band. Femdoms from New York just put out a new album called Attic. They're great. They're probably my second favorite local band in the world, and they're all cute. Oh, okay. Uh, go out and support okay. local music. Yes, go support local Detroit music. Absolutely. Yes. That, Absolutely. That is what this podcast is about. And uh, speaking of this podcast, I just have to say that our next episode, it's not every Monday. It's every other Monday. So our next episode is January 23rd. The Social Bandits will be on. And I am actually on their EP. I did backup vocals with my girl, Artist Grace. And so it's kind of special for me because they're like family to me. I'm very excited to have them in the studio. And uh, yeah, everybody should tune in every other Monday. We're going to be live here on YouTube with our massive team of people that make it happen. And those hounds one more time. And thank you guys so much for having for having us. Nope. Thank you so much for being Come. here and Love having it. us, I guess, if you will. Love it. And go check them out. They have their release party January 27th, once again, at Smalls and Hamtramck. Put it in your calendar. It's their CD release party for their upcoming EP, Matrimony, which you heard two songs from tonight. And we can't wait. That's I wanna, pretty much it. I was thinking about mentioning something else while I'm here. Um, because not everybody who's watching is musicians or who would come and record. or, sure. or they. Uh, everybody loves music, I feel. But also we're starting to do birthday parties here at Sound Shop Studio. Yeah. Karaoke. It's not only birthday parties. It's all occasion parties. So we, you can come in the studio, have some fun. You can bring some food in. Have a party here. It's a great rate. So if you want to get a hold of me or Kevin on Facebook, it's going to be a good time. I think everything is going to be great with that. Lots of fun. I've seen them in the past. So yeah. I wanted to mention that. That's perfect. And I think on that note, uh, party on. That should be our Rock on. Party, party, party on, on Tammy. <laughs> party on, Aaron. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm sorry? The sound, oh, the sound shop address. Yes, yes. we're going to get the sound is, shop. And I actually know the address because that's okay. how much we get carry out here. Nice. Um, <laughs> but online, we will put the sound shop address online. But if you want to know it right now, it's 45777 North Gratiot Avenue. I'm sorry that I know that. But uh, that's what it is. I get carry out and delivery a lot here because I'm here a lot. So, yes. uh, Kevin, I know that you really want to play this song. <laughs> really, really so bad. bad. You're so ready. So whenever you're ready, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are Motor City Music Society, and we will see you on January 23rd for Love our you. second episode. Bye. Bye. Have a great two weeks. Bye, Bye. 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 Taylor. Bye.